Let's check out my most expensive multi-tools I own. This would be both Leatherman. I got an honorable mention too. I got the dark side, of course. I paid about 200 for this. 250 actually. Pretty cool multi-tool. I like the outside. You got blue on the inside kind of. I wish it glowed in the dark, but it doesn't. You got S30V steel. A lot of people know what that is. You got, let's see, nice saw blade. You got serrated blade here. These go for like 500 plus on eBay. It's crazy. Then you got diamond file, regular file, and then you got a little file here. Let's open this bad boy up. This you can actually tighten on both sides. See how it has a screwdriver slot and adjust the uh, how much you want it to exert, which is pretty cool. And then you got interchangeable pliers too. Feels a little loose. So you got the uh, corkscrew, or not corkscrew, the um, bottle opener, wire stripper. Then you got the interchangeable uh, bit driver. Pretty standard. This is just like a charge series, basically. Then you got scissors. You got the flat screwdriver, and then you have a little eyeglass bit. Um, to change it out. I love the color. You got a ruler inside too. Ruler inside. Wire strippers. The feeling's pretty cool on this too. And then, can't forget this. You got a scribe on there. That just goes in. I guess I can do it off camera. There we go. I wish it came with a, um, a clip, but it doesn't. Then you got this. Let me see if I can get this out. Oh, there we go. This is a pen. So that's pretty cool. So you got a little pen to scribe. This is kind of like the NASA. Um, they made a NASA one just like this. And then this, this was clever. You got a little tweezers. But that just hides in here. See if I can get it. Yep. And this can be a lanyard hoop. I don't really like lanyards. But that's the Leatherman Dark Side. Pretty cool. And then you got this cool pouch with it. I don't know if it was worth uh, two fifty, but it's a pretty cool. You got the box too. Leatherman Garage Number Two. I just keep everything together. other one we have this one I really like this one is the Leatherman Charge G10 let me it kind of changes color which is cool I paid about 200 I'll show you why I like it I love the texture on it that is so cool this the dark side doesn't have this it should have you got the gut hook, so you can cut seat belts or whatnot. It's a serrated blade, so that's an extra feature. Then you got the diamond file, regular file. I like how you can open it one hand like that. S30V steel, both have that. And the saw. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's open it up. See, the dark side didn't have that. I mean, this doesn't have what dark side has where you can tighten this if you want to adjust it. But you have the interchangeable um, wire cutters if you want. Nice tight pliers. I think this has everything pretty much inside that the other one had. Yep, you got the... Uh, scissors these all lock too then you got the flathead screwdriver and then the uh bit exchanger for eyeglasses or whatnot 
Then this is, what the hell is that? It's kind of boring. You got the uh, uh, bottle opener and wire stripper. Then you got the bit exchanger. You feel it lock. I love how it locks. And then you got the ruler again. Ruler. I kind of like the looks of this over the dark side. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's do a comparison. Hold on. I'm going to compare the two. I don't think anybody's done that. Let's compare the two. So you got that. You got that. I kind of like the ribs on this. It's like an alligator skin. Pretty, pretty cool. This looks a little thicker, too. Hmm. It came with a pouch, too, and a clip. So if you want to put a clip on it, you can. But. Getting hot out. All right. So that was that. And let's see my honorable mention. I bought this when my sister died. It's the Leatherman Charge TTI. Um, I actually cut her ashes with this. One of my favorites. I just love the looks of it. Titanium. You got the S30V Steel. I think I paid about $159 for it. Then you got the saw. Very aggressive. Then you got this. The wire cutter. And then the gut hook again. I don't know why the dark side didn't have that. Kind of sucks. And then you got the file again. Then I put the clip on. There's a way to put it on there. And you got the wire strippers. You got this little crimper. A lot of people don't like that. The first gen didn't have that. And then you got these teeth. And then let's see the inside. This is basically a charge again. Bottle opener, interchangeable pliers, all lock. Then you got scissors, nice scissors. I don't think I would ever get rid of this. And then you got flat driver, and then you got the uh, bit exchanger driver. Let's see if I can, yeah, it's like a flat. If you turn it over, I think you have like a 3D Phillips. Can you see that? Kind of hard to see. You got like a 3D Phillips. You can do like computer work with it. But that locks too. Pretty cool. I do like this thing. But yeah, these are my most expensive multi-tools I own. Um, these go in like the 200 range. But I just wanted to show you guys this one too. Well, hope you guys like this video. Uh, hope you subscribe.